The Panerai Radio Mirror is back. After a couple years out of the spotlight, Panerai is bringing new life to the classic Radio Mirror collection. What's as exciting is that Panerai only announced this watch a couple weeks ago, and we already have it live here in person for you. So today I'm gonna to tell you everything you need to know about the new 40 millimeter Radio Mirror. My name is Elizabeth Smith, and we are a family-owned watch and jewelry business. We have real product in real stores, and we bring the latest in the watch industry to you here every week. So the Panerai Radio Mirror. The Panerai Radio Mirror was the original Panerai. So going back to the early 1900s, this is the watch that Panerai made for the Italian Navy. What makes the Radio Mirror line distinct is the onion crown. You probably know Panerai from the Crown Guard. That's the iconic look on the Luminor that came out in the 1950s. But before that, there was the Radio Mirror. What also makes the Radio Mirror distinct, which sets the Panerai design codes across all their collections, is the really clean dial. Bringing this Radio Mirror back is like bringing back the Sleeping Beauty. Nothing has been going on in the line for a couple years. Panerai has been focused in their areas, but for 2023, they announced this is gonna be year of the radio mirror. And to kick it off, we've got this beautiful 40 millimeter collection. Only a couple weeks ago, George and I were in Geneva for Watches and Wonders. And when we had our Panerai meeting, they were leading the big announcement of the year with this 40 millimeter radio mirror. It's pretty amazing to think that we already have the line in store. Kudos to Panerai. Not a lot of brands are able to pull that off. And it's pretty impressive, especially in this day and age where we're, we get announcements and sometimes we don't see the watch for maybe even 12 months. It's really fun to get the announcement and then have the product here in store for you. Let's get into the design of these watches. 40 millimeter case shape. It wears about 10 millimeters thick on the wrist, a little bit more than 10. That's thin for a Panerai. It can fit under a dress sleeve. If you're a Panerai fan, you know that not a lot of watches of their watches can do that. Um, so let's look at the design. I mean, this is pure, clean Panerai aesthetic, and I love it. This watch looks rich. It's beautiful. Um, it's gonna jump out across the room, but in the most subtle way, kind of quiet luxury, which is a very hot topic right now. Um, I think this size is going to wear larger on the wrist because the dial is so clean. When I actually tried this on in Geneva, for me personally, I think it wears more like a 42 millimeter. For reference, I have a six inch wrist. So if you're used to wearing larger Panerai's, I wouldn't write off the 40 millimeter right away. I would encourage you to try to try it on and see it in person. I think you would be attracted to the size for a dress watch. We've got the date at three o'clock, seconds hand at nine o'clock, all luminescence. This is a sandwich dial. So this is very pure Panerai as well. What that means is there is a dial of luminescence underneath this black dial. And then they sandwich the black dial on top, laser cut out the markers and numbers to reveal the luminescence below. A really nice detail that you're not gonna notice until this watch is in your hand and it really makes you appreciate the craftsmanship. Now there are four different radio mirrors in the 40 millimeter. Three of them are in stainless steel. There's a black dial, a blue dial, and a white dial. We'll leave those all in the description, those pan numbers for you. They do have a 30 millimeter depth rating. Um, it, it's a high polished stainless steel. So again, that plays into that dress look. It's not the E-Steel yet. So Panerai last year, year it was year of sustainability. A lot of their watches coming into this new year are gonna be E-Steel, which is a recycled steel material. I don't see that yet on the radium years, but I would expect that to be in the whole, entire Panerai collection over the next couple years. The other watch that is in this lineup is the gold tech with the white dial. Panerai makes their own version of a red gold. It's darker than a rose, it's a little bit more masculine, it has its own distinct look, really pretty up against this clean white dial. I also wanna point out something about the luminescence. This goes back to Panerai Radio Mirror history, which is really unique, is that if you look at the hours hand, there's actually a break in the luminescence there, and that just goes back to the original watch. So again, if you appreciate these details, if you appreciate historic codes, this is a good watch for you. Now let's talk about the strap a little bit. Panerai is known for easy strap changing. I am gonna tell you the Radio Mirror is probably the more difficult of any of their watches to change the strap. 
And that's because these wire lugs are connected to the case with four individual screws. It is possible, I'll link a video I made before about changing the strap, but you have to take each screw out individually and then pull the wire lugs out. It's possible, you just have to really pay attention to where you set those screws down. You don't wanna lose them. The buckle on the watch is interesting. This is also like a very kind of classic radio mirror style buckle. It tapers down to an 18 millimeter for the buckle and the original straps that come on this watches actually do have a sewn in buckle. I've heard that there's gonna be more options throughout the year as well as a shorter strap for women or someone with a smaller wrist size. Well, I think that's everything you need to know about the 40 millimeter radio mirror. Let me know if you'll be trying on this new size and make sure to subscribe for more Panerai videos coming throughout the year. Thanks for watching.